Hi, this is Paul from Gearhead Works. This video is going to show you how to install the front sight to go along with your short Razorback rail and an AR-15 flip-up rear sight. The height of this, when it's finished, will match up to any AR-15 rear rail mounted sight to give you backup iron sights again after switching to the short Razorback. I'll go over step by step. Super easy to do. You just need a small punch and a flathead screwdriver. You obviously won't have your top rail on. Um, the other thing you'll have to take off is your side rail. The side rail will prevent you from getting your screwdriver into this slot or it'll be very difficult. It'll be easier to take the rail off. So once you have the rail off, I like to punch, there's, there's a roll pin on this side. You can get a flathead screwdriver and you rotate it so this roll pin is perfectly horizontal. So it'll slide out of this notch. Once you do that, you knock this out. It's a very small pin. You will actually reuse this pin, but if you lose it, I supply an extra with the hardware. So that's handy. Now, this piece is what you're going to be removing. This screw that had the flathead screw, it's not really a screw, it's just a pin, so you can push it out. But once you start pushing, be aware that underneath here is a spring. And that spring is pushing up on this piece. So you don't want to just slide that off and have this piece come flying out. So hold on to this piece, slide your pin out, and then relax the, then this comes right out. You'll see there's a metal plate right here and a spring underneath, okay? Those pieces will stay. That's what provides the tension against the sight so that it stays locked up or locked down. To assemble the sight onto the gun, you're going to use the supplied hardware. Now the hardware that comes with it is actual genuine IWI parts. So it's made for the gun. This hole right here is where your front sight windage adjustment screw detent goes. Now you got to take this spring and drop it all the way down. It needs to go all the way through into the bottom hole. And the same thing with the plunger. The plunger is going to go all the way through. It needs to be on the spring down in that hole. The hard part's the plunger, I'm trying to get over the spring and in the hole all at the same time. This is obviously the hardest part of the installation. Okay, I've got it. You'll make sure you got some movement there with the spring. Don't let it come back out. Now, you're going to take your windage screw and stick it through the hole and push down the plunger enough to get the screw started through. Alright, once you have that screw through, it'll, it'll move, but you want to keep it just part way in there because you're going to screw it into the sight. Now, this is the front, okay? So the front of the gun is going to go like this. And what that does is this ledge is what holds it up. So when it folds down, this, when it folds down, this is down. It'll be just like this. This logo is actually deep engraved right there, so it provides a gripping surface. So when you grab it, it your fingers won't slip. It gives you a good positive grip to be able to flip that up. So now you can kind of angle this up a little bit and just 
screw this in by hand it'll go pretty easy you want to screw it pretty far Now if you notice, I keep my front sight all the way to this side because when I get ready to push this down, and then I'll slide it over. So keeping the front sight all the way that way when I'm screwing this in gives me room to, to slide it. So you can take your screwdriver. Now you, you're fighting this spring tension right here. So what you're going to want to do is push down. When you push down, there's a, there's a bushing right here. That when you push this down and, and slide it over you might push this bushing out it's okay you can just push it back in even after the screw is in but if you don't want to push it out you can hold something against it or it might even just stay so i'm gonna try it and see all right if you saw that move right there it moved so i'm gonna get it pushed back Now it's back in there so now I'm in the hole but my screw obviously isn't all the way in so now it's just a matter of screwing this in notice your front my front side is moving over it's it's adjusting itself it'll it'll come back there we go so you want to keep screwing this over all right, now you hear the clicks. That's your windage elevate or windage adjustment clicks. So my screw is in all the way. It's hitting the detents. So I'm just going to eyeball the front side about center. That's close enough. And then check the hole. That roll pin that we took out is going back in. So you want to make sure the hole on your sight is moving sideways. So once that's out, now at this point you can actually check your front sight. Make sure it goes up and down. Okay, so we're we're good there. So now make make sure your hole is sideways. Where's the screw turned on me? And you're gonna put that roll pin back back in here. Okay, once you get this pin all the way in, you want to make sure that it's going to allow the screw to rotate. So try your screwdriver. Make sure that the pin stays in the recess and doesn't get hung up, preventing your screw from turning. So I've got it pretty good here now. Double check your sight. Works good. And that's it. You're done. You're ready to move over your front sight post, spring, and plunger from your factory top rail you just use your front sight tool that came with the gun unscrew your front sight post reuse your plunger and spring and it goes right down these holes and you're it bore sight it um, and you're done ready to go to the range and sight it in All the way down in that hole it needs to go all the way down in the bottom and a plunger will do the same thing the plunger goes all the way through and needs to sit on that You want to take your 
screw that's supplied with the hardware pack and it goes, I'm sorry, 